With little more than 100,000 inhabitants, the Bilbao of 100 years ago had an extraordinary deficit of decent, affordable housing for the city's low-income residents. Then Mayor Mario Arana promoted the creation of Casas Baratas de Bilbao, Bilbao's cheap housing, a local authority that began with little more than 2.5 million pesetas in capital and four plots of municipal land in the neighborhood of Solocoeche. So began a story marked by the following milestones. With the First World War recently over, Bilbao began construction on 265 housing units in the Uriza Tower complex that were to be used as social rental properties with monthly rents of between 15 and 45 pesetas, just a few cents in euros. They were two, three and four bedroom flats that included a kitchen and bathroom. There, some 1,400 residents came to live in a new neighborhood of small buildings laid out around three large squares, which provided direct sunlight and proper ventilation in the homes. Three construction projects were completed on the plots of land in Solocoeche that the town hall seeded in 1918. In 1920, Solocoeche won and its 97 housing units. In 1931, with the arrival of the Second Republic, Solocoeche II, with its 60 additional housing units. And finally, following the Spanish Civil War, Solocoeche III, in 1941, with 21 housing units. These projects provided housing to nearly 1,000 people, following criteria that responded to the rationalist criteria of the age, where interior passageways were removed in favor of livability. Following the bloody Spanish Civil War, the new Madariaga Tower neighborhood was built in Ribera de Riusta with 685 housing units distributed across nine longitudinal blocks, providing housing for 2,000 residents at an average monthly rent of 190 pesetas. While austere and minimal, these dignified living spaces of between 50 and 80 square meters lived up to the ideals of the time regarding social housing. In the early 1950s, three buildings with 208 housing units and 31 commercial spaces were built on a plot of municipal land next to Moratha Square. These buildings were aimed at modest workers and were offered under affordable conditions. The decent austere housing units measured between 48 and 52 square meters and were designed to house the families of those employed in the area. At nearly the same time, eight new buildings with 528 housing units and space for 96 businesses were constructed in parallel on a triangular plot of land on Santuccio's Parocco Unfeta Street. These small 35 square meter housing units were the best example of the rationalization of municipal guidelines in terms of housing. Halfway through the decade, an L-shaped building was constructed on San Francisco Street's Corazón de María Square. There were 111 of these 82 square meter housing units distributed over six floors, which were meant to house working class families. Together with the Miguel de Unamuno Square project, this meant that development had returned to the city center and with it, a restructuring of the urban fabric. At the close of the 1950s, six buildings with 530 new social rent housing units were built next to the San Adrian Hermitage. This was an era in which the National Housing Institute made its first attempts at the Poblados Dirigidos Social Housing and the Viviendas Municipales de Bilbao Limited Partnership, which needed to increase its capital by 50 million pesetas, around 300,000 euros, in order to manage. With the arrival of the 1960s came developmentalism, 
and Bilbao's largest public housing project, the new Ochargoaga Housing Complex. Under the Biscay National Housing Institute's Social Urgency Plan, a housing estate was built in Begonia to include more than 3,600 new housing units, three churches and three shopping centres in an effort to find a solution to the slum problem on the outskirts of the city. More than 2,500 families were forced to leave these slums and move to the new Ochargoaga housing estate, whose management was ultimately transferred to Viviendas Municipales de Bilbao. This era also ushered in new ideas and means of construction, such as architect Pedro Basáñez's innovative 1966 project on Pedro Astigarraga Street in the neighborhood of San Ignacio. There, three blocks were built with 230 two-floor housing units, measuring 50 square meters each. Built in the form of a duplex, these residences were known as American houses because of their common exposed concrete exterior access ways. Following the death of Franco and the end of his dictatorship, democracy and autonomy were restored in the Basque Country and Bilbao began preparing itself for the 21st century. The city was driven by the regenerative spirit that arose following 1983's catastrophic flooding. As a result of an agreement within a much more ambitious plan between the city council and the Basque government, the first two public exposed brick housing blocks were built in Churdinaga with 197 social housing units, measuring between 59 and 80 square meters. In 2008, following changes to Bilbao's general plan for urban zoning, the time had come to enhance the old mining area of Miribilia. Thus, the first two blocks were built with 173 social rent housing units, which were equipped with modern insulation and sustainable solar energy installations. At the same time, Viviendas Municipales de Bilbao became a local independent body with 100% public capital in order to better manage its assets. In the middle of the economic crisis, 2011 saw the renovation of Recalde Berri's west side, which was occupied by obsolete industrial buildings. In their place, an ambitious plan to provide 240 new social rent housing units led to the construction of modern residential buildings with the latest roof and wall insulation methods and advanced energy efficiency systems. Modern society has changed. There are now new types of families and new housing needs for Bilbao's residents. Within the framework of the new programs promoted by Viviendas Municipales de Bilbao, construction has begun on a building that will include 160 new social housing units in Amezzola. These units will measure between 30 and 50 square meters each and offer shared common spaces. Those younger than 36 are given preferential access to these residential resources as an optimal solution to help them move into their own homes, while likewise breathing new vitality into the neighborhood. Community involvement and housing programs that are solidary in nature and which contribute to the 21st century urban model are additionally being undertaken for young people Bilbao was designated the best European city by the Academy of Urbanism and 2018 became a year of celebrations for this trendy city. In this special centennial year, Viviendas Municipales is highlighting the comprehensive urban renovation project in the neighborhood of Ochagoaga to act as an example of who we are. This project includes undertaking the work necessary to restore 240 housing units, in addition to renovating new social and cultural facilities in the area. 
all thanks to an inter-institutional agreement with the Basque government. After a long 100-year history, Viviendas Municipales de Bilbao is proud to have pushed the city to the forefront of Spain in terms of the number of public municipal housing units managed, boasting the state's highest social housing ratio. We have a housing unit for every 83 inhabitants, with approximately 9,000 people living in Bilbao's more than 4,100 social rent municipal housing units.